Welcome to my channel. Please enjoy the video. Guys, however, I do apologize. This is the original video. I did this video at 4 44 a.m. Like I stated on the video, which is supposed to have been 12 minutes, I'm going to break this down for 6 minutes and 14 seconds. Like I stated, Keisha Cole and her brother were going back and forth. There were some statements made about the brother saying that Frankie supposedly allegedly told him that she only didn't want two of her seven children to attend her funeral. I find this very odd that the time nearing Frankie's death, she knew she was going to die. These are some very strange things. Now, come on now. Yeah, we know she was using drugs. We know she was addicted to drugs. But Frankie supposedly, allegedly, knew she was going to die. Did Frankie sacrifice, allow Keisha Cole to sacrifice her? Did Frankie know that Keisha Cole was going to sacrifice her? And like I was stating on the other part of the video, guys, Keisha Cole made an interview and she stated that her mother used to leave her alone with men. Okay? That was where the video cut off. And when she left her along with those men, Keisha Cole was said she was very hurt by that. Because these were men that her mother barely knew. Random men that she would meet in the same day and leave this young girl along with them. So I really believe that Keisha Cole had a lot of resentment towards her mother. I'm not saying that she didn't love her mother. Like I stated on my first video, Keisha Cole got very tired of seeing her mother suffering. And she knew all along she had to make the sacrifice, guys. She had to do this. Like I said, there was never any pictures of Frankie on her birthday celebrating any video footage. Anything for them to produce what actually had taken place and what people were there. She was just not partying by herself. I'm not buying that. That she was just at home on her birthday, 61st birthday. She has all of these grandchildren. She has her children. Her daughter is a superstar, an R&B legend. And none of her children were there. And the son, Sammy, claims that he was with his mother when the cameras were off. He was with his mother almost every day. And then he stated that he has one item of his mother's that she left and he has that in his possession and it is her ID, her identification card. Baby, there is more to this. Like I stated on this picture right here, how do we not know if that was Frankie's birthday celebration? To me, she looks healthy. She looks like she's packed on a couple of pounds. She looks like she's happy and healthy. How do we know, allegedly, that she wasn't poisoned? Because to be honest with you guys, I've done research and I've Googled. I still cannot see the confirmation of how and why Frankie Lawns Keisha Cole's mother passed away. They made a statement that she allegedly probably drug overdose. That's not an official autopsy report. Where is her autopsy toxicology report? Now TMZ, like I stated before, they like to come out before the autopsy people even complete the autopsy with these celebrities. And TMZ is psychic. They will tell you how these celebrities died, the time, who was there. They will tell you everything. I cannot find TMZ stating an official confirmed autopsy report for Frankie Lawn's death. And like I stated, guys, Keisha Cole's Instagram is open. Nephi's Instagram is open. Sammy's Instagram is open. And the other girl name I can't pronounce right now, she had COVID-19. Keisha Cole alleges this is why the funeral was pushed back. And I really believe that that funeral was supposed to have taken place yesterday, August 13th, which was Friday the 13th. However, Keisha Cole did not want to add any suspicion to having her mother's funeral on the 13th of August, which was yesterday. However, Frankie Lons will be laid to rest today in Oakland, California and where she lived and where she died. Keisha Cole, like I stated, had some resentment towards her mother for not only abandoning her and leaving her to be adopted to a family, which she had a mother and a father, and she was never able to come into contact with her father. Instead, was left by her mother by multiple men that she just met during her drug binges. 
Once again, guys, I do apologize for the video that I just uploaded. However, this was the original footage and I broke it down to six minutes and 14 seconds. And I'm going to keep digging till today, like I stated, her funeral, it will be held in Oakland and I am not buying me this is my opinion that frankie died from a drug overdose yes she did drugs but i just do not believe she died from the drug overdose the sign that fell and hit her on on the head was an attempted sacrifice guys please read in between the lines however that did not work and they used a different method to take her up out of here and it had to be drugs they tried to make it seem like an accident first which that accident did not go through so now they're saying that she had a drug overdose her cutting the cake on the picture how do we not know that this was her actual birthday party guys please wake up stay awake guys and this was supposed to have been the actual footage the actual footage of her birthday so the question is because the birthday cake does not have her age on there and i find that very odd once again guys i'm sorry for messing the first video up but take care and i'll see you on the next video Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell.